What is up with my gang? What is up with my squad? T gang in this thing. What's pop with y'all? What's up T gang? Welcome back to my channel. So today we will be checking out a video of a mother trying to take her life and her own son's life by taking Xanax. Okay, so if you're interested like I'm interested then stay tuned because we're gonna get into it. It's the Nia's world. Vlogs plus she got reactions. You should see this girl. Going up, she never lacking. It's a Nia, you see her. Bringing flames, man, what? Gotta shout out T Gang. Stand up, stand up. After being holed up in her home for an unusual amount of time, a woman's family became concerned about what was going on inside. Cops were called to do a welfare check on the mother and her 10 year old son. When they walked in on her in bed with the boy, which only got worse by what they found around them. It had been a while since anyone had heard from Summer Leanne Hyatt, who wouldn't answer her phone or door at her home in Arkansas. The 32-year-old mother had become reclusive in recent days, which was atypical for her, especially since her son hadn't been seen either. With no other options and desperate to know if the two were okay, Saline County Police arrived at the home on April 13th to simply check on them. When they found a bedroom scene, they weren't exactly expecting. Then her brother shared a disgusting admission that his sister had told him, which answered one looming question. Hyatt and her little boy were both found alive, but they were in a bed together. According to Arkansas Online, the mother was acting lethargic, looked pale, and was having difficulty communicating with officers. Her son seemed to have the same troubles and appearances as she did, but it was- Why does it sound fake? I don't think- I don't know. I mean- and the title is say horrified, so I'm assuming something bad's gonna happen. But the 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 happy music in the background, the way the dude talking, it don't seem like nothing about to pop off. And it's a two minute video, so I'm just trying to figure out exactly when the horrified situation's gonna pop because <laughs> we a minute in to a two minute video, and it don't seem like nothing is really strange. I mean, it is kind of strange that they're in the bed together, depending on how old... The, I don't remember if he said how old the son was. But if he did, hopefully it's a little little boy, because if he, like... I say 10 or older. Not... Well, not even 10. Because... Well, I don't know. It... Just not too, too old. Because what are you doing in the bed with your mama? I mean, if, if you want to go in there and pick with your mama real quick, that's cool. But if you in the bed with your mama, that kind of raised a little question mark in my head. I'm just trying to figure out what we about to talk about in this video. Why is the son in the bed with his mama? Is my question. Immediately clear as to what the cause was until they looked on the nightstand beside the bed. Investigators noticed two open medicine bottles pair had presumably consumed. However, that was only after taking about 50 Xanax, according to what Hyatt's brother told police, based on his sister's admission to him. The mother and her son were rushed to the hospital, where they're recovering from the terrifying ordeal, and finally able to talk to cops. Hyatt admitted that she had tried to kill herself and her child by overdose him. So... She wanted to go looking real peaceful, is what I hear. Why in the world? She could have, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not trying to help her figure out different ways to, you know, take her own life. But, she could have did it a, a whole different way than, ha why would she take all them pills? And her son. Now I'm curious on if he said how old the son was. I don't think he did. The son had to have been like a baby baby or like toddler-ish. Because any kid probably going to be like, Mom, what, what are you doing? Why am I taking this? What did the son do is the problem. Like, like the brother could have took the son. What, what? You just wanted your son to go with you? You could, you could, so... In my ears, I hear, I couldn't live with whatever's going on around her, but she couldn't live without her son. 
So she gonna take her son with her. What sense does that make, lady? What sense does that make? Absolutely none. The son could have went to go live with the brother if that was the case. If you was fed up with life, the son could have went with the brother. The real did the son do? The son probably don't even know. Shoot, he probably don't even know what's going on with his mama. Most, but most parents though, what they do, if they fed up with life and they got kids, they take their own life. They don't take, they don't take their life and the kid's life. Because what did the kid do? There's a strong possibility she ain't got custody of her son after this video. And she lived. Vacation, which she had warned the boy's father, who is his legal guardian, of doing twice within the last year. Thankfully, her effort to follow through failed, and authorities intervened right in time. Upon her release from the hospital on Monday, Hyatt was arrested and booked in the Saline County Jail for attempted capital murder, introduction into the body of another, and endangering the welfare of a minor. It should have never made it this far, and that close to death for a child, since the mother had warned of her suicide and proved herself to be an unstable person. Thankfully, the boy pulled through and lived to see another day, but he'll have this disturbing memory of his mother for the rest of his life. No, duh. No, I, I'm pretty sure that's the end of the video. I don't know. No, duh, though. This, that, that, whew. I don't know if I would even be able to talk to my own mama after this. Because what, that's all I want to know. What did the son do? Because you unhappy with life. I got to go and meet the Lord. That's what I got to do? So I got to go because you want to go. What if I don't want to go? Oh, well, I guess that was the end of the video. I honestly, it's kind of hard to take this video any type of seriousness just because, I mean, the uh, the music. Like, I don't, I, me personally, I don't think I could take the, the video completely serious. Even, even though they got the pictures of what the mom looked like and yeah, I don't know. I do feel like it's a true story, but the way that this channel just said it don't seem really realistic y'all let me know what y'all thinking y'all let me know if y'all believe it because i'm kind of curious now like i'm thinking it's gonna be like some crazy crazy stuff it wasn't like as crazy as what they was making the video seem i'm a little disappointed i don't give dislikes i barely give likes or dislikes just because I watch the video and then once the video over I go to a completely new different video but it's not like I just intentionally do it but this video right here would it would get a whole dislike from me just just because I can't figure out if it's real or not but if y'all have heard about this story and this is a true story let me know in the comment section below because I'm kind of curious I don't know I don't know if I want to believe it or not that's messed up to say I know that sounds messed up I believe the story probably did happen but it's that music and it's the the, and he didn't even seem like, oh, she took 50 Xanax and it just seemed like fake. That's what I'm saying. Y'all let me know. Okay. But, okay, y'all, y'all know the deal. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if y'all believe this story. Let me know what, if, if this is a real story, y'all leave it in the comment section below. So at least I could be like, oh, okay, I, at least I know it's real. He just, he just doing extra with his channel. Which he don't even have to do. Till next time, remember it's T gang or no gang. We out. Bye.